Greetings, hi, the War Al greets you. This short video is to help you set up your keybinds for CSGO, which is something you need to set up. This is basically what the buttons on your keyboard do in game, like pressing W will move you forward. Like your crosshair settings, this is a mixture of personal preference and functionality. You can change your binds from the menu, but let's be cool kids and do it from the developer console. It gives you far more control, and once you're comfortable with using the text input console, it is easier to use than a GUI. To enable your developer console, go to Options, Game Settings, and set Enable Developer Console to Yes. Congratulations, you now never have to navigate through another menu. I say this as a former UI developer. Consoles rule, GUIs suck. To enter a command, type it in and press Enter. You'll see fancy Google-esque autofill thingies helping you out. To check what a key is bound to, type Bind and then the key. Yes, it is that simple. To bind a key, type Bind then the key you want to bind, then the command you want to bind it to. So if you want to bind R to reload, I would type bind R plus reload. Now that we're done discussing the painfully newbie noob noob stuff that I'm sure many of you are cringing over, let's get to the binds. You can leave many of these binds the same. Let's look at what you can keep the same. WASD movement, unless you want to go for the ESDF or the I know, some people use this, and technically it is better, but it feels way too crazy for me, like why I don't use a Dvorak keyboard. E for use, R for reload, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for weapon switching, all makes sense. Tab for scoreboard, shift for walk, control for duck, no reason to change this stuff, this is the way it is in every FPS. Except Counter-Strike, you walk instead of run. But look at how many fancy keys remain. The keys 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 are bound to take out specific nades, these are defaults, but it is unreasonable to reach all the way over the keyboard to get to them. The specific commands are slot 6, slot 7, slot 8, slot 9, and slot 10. A single key for a single type of nade makes far more sense than using four to cycle through them. And please, for the love of all that is good in Counter-Strike, don't use the scroll wheel to switch weapons. Think of how much time you're wasting in a game where every millisecond in a battle counts. So here's what I have set up for our nades. The most important one is the flashbang, because you'll need to pull this out in a hurry. If you're being attacked and you want to flash to escape, you need to quickly pull out the flashbang in almost any situation. Because of this, I have bound it to F the easiest key to reach, and F stands for flashbang. I then bound G to smoke grenade, C to hand grenade, V to Molotov, and X to decoy, though I don't use decoys. If you want the commands for my specific setup, it's in the description, but I highly recommend you play around with it and find a setup that works for you. Most people will be hesitant to change G from drop weapon, for example. I've changed drop weapon to Z and don't use inspect weapon since it's purely cosmetic, it's not important. And I don't use the in-game talky-talky things because I can talky-talky myself. I don't need a guy to go, enemy spotted. I can actually say with my voice, enemy spotted, and it's the same. That leaves us with one easily reachable key left on our keyboard, Q. I don't use quick switch, most people use quick switch, but I hit the number keys to switch to a specific weapon. It is personal preference. I bound Q to use in-game voice chat so I can quickly make calls while in combat. So that's the keyboard, now let's check out the mouse. Obviously left click fire, right click secondary makes sense. You don't want to change those. Most people will bind scroll wheel down to jump. When you spam the scroll wheel to jump, it makes bunny hopping far easier. The plus jump command is registered constantly until you hit the ground, then it immediately jumps. I set mouse 4, the button on the side, to my external chat command. I recommend setting in-game chat and external chat, such as mumbled or team speak, to different hands. One for the keyboard and one for the mouse, so that you don't get them mixed up, which happens often. Congratulations! Those are all the commands you actually need. You have mouse 3, mouse 5, and the scroll wheel up to bind to whatever crazy funky commands you want. It will take a bit to get used to the new keybinds. You probably want to play like three games or so before you actually get used to it. But once your mind knows how to pull out a flashbang instead of cycling to it, you will notice an amazing difference. If you haven't set up your binds yet, trust me on this, it makes a world of difference in game. Thanks for watching, I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer. I bound scroll wheel up to spam. Get owned, noob. <laughs> that'll, that'll make him mad.